How you all? Are you ready to worship and praise the Lord? Well, let us get started. Let's pray. Almighty and most magnificent, glorious, kind, loving, powerful, and understanding Father which art in heaven. Father, we come before you, giving you the glory and the praise and the honor, Father. Asking for forgiveness of our sins and our trespasses, Father. Help us to understand thy word. Whenever we read it, hear it, or see it, Father, let thy word dwell within us, and let us be able to bring it forth and use it again, Father, with ease, success, and well, and with confidence, to bring you glory, praise, and honor, Father. Help us, Father, to be your bright, shining lights unto this world, Father. Help me, Father, to, to preach your word today, to teach your word, Father, the way you want it done, Father, so that it may edify your people and that we may go forth and be a bright, shining light unto the world. Father, let your will be done. This and all the prayers we pray through His loving Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ's name do we pray. Amen and amen. So you all, today my sermon is titled, Praise the Lord, Shout, Glory, Hallelujah. When you are of the world, meaning you have not chosen God to be the head of your life, then you are without hope. I'm not trying to be cruel, you all, but I have to be honest with you if I'm going to be able to help. You will worry, you will be sad, you, you will be depressed even, you will be suicidal even, and you will be afraid and wondering, is this all there is? And, or what am I here for? Because the truth of the matter is, without God in your life, you have no hope. You have no future. There's a hollowness in your heart, an empty darkness in your soul that you just can't seem to feel. Because, you all, that is where God is supposed to be. And without Him filling that place in you, you have nothing to look forward to but pain, suffering, death, hell, and the grave. But for those of us, for those of us who choose or have chosen God to be the head of our lives, the end all and the be all of our existence, the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end, then that old refrain, don't worry, be happy, truly applies to you. Because in the end, you win. No matter what you are going through, Jehovah will see you through if you stay true to God until the end. So those of you who have not tried Jehovah, please, won't you try him? Try God. And for those of you who have tried him and quit him because of some phony, baloney, ungodly, so-called Christians out there, I want you to try God again. And this time, focus your attention on having a personal relationship with God. Knowing that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. That's what the Word says. So don't let anybody chase you away from God. So this time, do not focus your attention on any man or woman, but instead focus all your attention on Jehovah by studying and, and putting into action in your day-to-day -day life His words, His statutes, His commandments, the Bible. Then watch, watch the love of Jehovah work mightily in your life. If and when you truly sincerely and seriously commit to doing this, what you will have and to look forward to is a fulfilled, abundant life, unending love, joy, happiness, and a peace beyond all understanding. Amen, somebody. <laughs> so give Jehovah your life. Then give the Lord praise and shout hallelujah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, the book of Psalms is the praise book of the Bible. And it gives us hundreds of reasons why 
praise is important, as well as examples of how to give praise to God. In examining those reasons and examples, one thing becomes crystal clear. The word of Jehovah says in Psalms 92, 1 and 2, quote, It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness every night." Unquote. The Word of God says that praise is a good thing. Huh? Psalms 147 verse 1 says, quote, Praise the Lord, for it is good to sing praises to our God, for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. Hmm? So don't let any preacher, elder, deacon, or so-called Christians tell you different. God said it is beautiful to praise Him. So don't let someone tell you that you are just supposed to sit there like a lump on a log and say nothing or do nothing to give glory, praise, and honor to God. God made us, you all, in His image, and He is emotional, and He gave us emotions so that we could use them to praise Him. We use our emotions to praise the football game, the basketball game, the baseball game, sports, the soap operas, huh, ladies, TV shows, movie stars, musicians, politicians, and each other. But we better not raise our hands, stomp our feet, clap our hands in praise and sh or shout, Amen, glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, praise your holy name. I love you, Father. You are awesome, wonderful, and magnificent, etc., etc. We need to be careful, you all. I'm talking to the leaders out there. We need to be careful lest we find ourselves like Michael, who scolded David for praising the Lord in public. When he was bringing the ark home, God cursed Michael for rebuking David's praise to the Lord. Brothers and sisters, we do not want to be found quenching the Spirit of God. Let the people praise the Lord. Let them be filled with His Holy Spirit. Who knows? Maybe then they'll be willing to sit there and listen to you preach in the Word for 30 to 60 minutes without constantly <clears throat> looking at their watches, wishing you would hurry up so they can go home and let that praise out by, sh by showering it or shouting it out on worldly things like football games. So, frankly, what would it hurt if the whole service was nothing but praise to Jehovah? I think he might be okay with that. I'm just saying. It is a worship service for the Lord, not for us, right? Just saying. The Word of God says, for it is pleasant and praise is beautiful. That means it is pleasing to Jehovah. And if it is pleasing to Jehovah, then we should do it and do it often and enthusiastically. Isn't Jehovah more worthy of our, 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 our adoration, worship, and praise than anyone or anything else? Can I get a witness? Can I get an amen? So let us take some of the praise we give to the world for those worldly things and, and, and give it to our Abba Father. Amen, somebody. When we consider the reasons why we should praise God, the why, if you will, becomes abundantly clear and overwhelming. The evidence we find of his attributes 
are just awesome, you all. Jehovah is glorious. Jehovah is great. Jehovah is wise and powerful. Jehovah is good. Jehovah is merciful and faithful. Thank you, Father. He is loving and kind and, and much, much more. These attributes are complemented by his wonderful works. Huh? Jehovah is the one who saves us. Hallelujah. Jehovah is the one who keeps his promises in a world today where nobody seems to keep their promises. Isn't that refreshing? You know, we say uh, 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 until, uh, uh, until death do we part. Well, that's just out the window as soon as we say it, right? Nowadays. Uh, we sign a contract, companies sign contracts all the time. The first thing the lawyers say, well, you know, contracts are made to be broken. Really? And people give their words nowadays, doesn't really mean as much anymore. But for Christians, this should mean a lot because we are children of God and God keeps his promises. Jehovah is the one who pardons our sins. Hallelujah. Jehovah is the one who gives us our daily bread. And he is the one who says to his beloved sons and daughters, that's you all, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find it, knock and it will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives and he who seeks finds and to him who knocks it will, not it shall, not it can be, not it may be, it will be open. Brothers and sisters, Trying to list all of the things that God Almighty has done is impossible. But it is a wonderful exercise, though, because it turns our hearts back to God and keeps us mindful of how much we owe to such a loving Abba Father. Yes. So thank you, Abba. Thank you, Father. Romans 15, 7 through 13 says, quote, Therefore, welcome one another as Christ has welcomed you for the glory of God. For I tell you that Christ became a servant to the circumcised to show God's truthfulness in order to confirm the promises given to the patriarchs. And in order that the Gentiles, that's you and I, y'all, it's talking about us, the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy. Do you glorify God for his mercy? As is it written, therefore, I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing to your name. And again, it is said, rejoice, O Gentiles, with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all you Gentiles, and let all the people extol him. And again, Isaiah says, the root of Jesse will come. Even he who arises to rule the Gentiles. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> if y'all didn't know, look it up. In him will the Gentiles hope. So let me ask you, where is your hope? Is your hope in God? In Jesus, or is your hope in money, man, things, or <clears throat> yourself? May the God of hope, the Bible says, fill you with all joy, peace, in believing. Do you truly believe, beloved, in God? If not, why not? Look around you and see all the wonderful beings and things Jehovah has created. So again, the Bible says, may the God of hope fill you with all, not a little bit you all, not some, but all joy and peace. Do you want some of this? In believing, in believing, in believing. Why? so that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you might abound in hope. Hallelujah, somebody. Don't we all need some hope in this dark, dark world we're living in today? Amen. God says, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't be afraid. If you do what I ask you to do, God says, I got you. No one. 
No one can take you out of my hands. When it's all said and done, in the end, Christians win. So let us, please, let us give the praise, the honor, and the glory to God. He so truly deserves. He deserves it. Praise. So, so if you want to get it out, just go ahead and get it out now because I'm going to say something. And you, yeah, you might as well say something when you're, when you're mowing the lawn, when you're washing the dishes, when you're cleaning the floor, when you're running around the track and exercise and sing praises to God. So praise your holy name, almighty Jehovah, for delivering us from fornication, for delivering us from adultery, for delivering us from pornography, for delivering us from homosexuality and all forms of sexual perversion and immorality. Gossiping, Lying, Father, backbiting, stealing, murdering. Thank you, Father, for delivering us from all forms of evil. For delivering us from eternal damnation and death. Hallelujah. Thank you, Almighty Jehovah. Holy, holy, holy art thou, God Almighty, who was and is and always and forever will be. Praise your holy name. Psalms 148. Verse 1 through 14 says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all hosts, his armies. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Have you ever looked up into the heavens recently at night? When you get away from all these street lights and can see the awesome works that God has done in the heavens. The Bible says, praise him, ye heavens of heavens and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord for he commanded and they were created. Hallelujah, somebody. He has also established them forever and ever. Isn't that awesome? He has made a decree which shall not pass away. It ain't going nowhere, you all. Glory, hallelujah. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye great sea creatures, ye dragons, all depths, fire, lightning, and hail. Praise his holy name, snow and vapors, stormy winds fulfilling his word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowls. Praise Jehovah's holy name, kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth both young men and maidens, old men and children, let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is excellent, exalted. His name alone, his name alone is excellent, exalted, and supreme. He's, his glory, his majesty above the earth and heaven. Hallelujah, somebody. He also exalteth, pay attention to this part now. He also exalteth his, the horn of his people, giving them strength, mm, prosperity, mm, dignity, yes, and preeminence. Ooh, that's a nice word right there. Look it up, y'all. The praise of all his saints, even the children of Israel, a people near unto him. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, now you all do know that if you are a Christian, that you have been grafted into the family tree of God. That means you are sons and daughters of Abraham. And therefore, God 
has given you this strength. Amen? This prosperity, oh yes, this dignity, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And that preeminence, glory, hallelujah, <laughs> that he says he gives to his people, his children. So if we truly love Jehovah, how can we not but give blessings and honor unto the Lord? So praise his holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your loving blessing. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Do you all know that when we pray, we should first and always give praise to God, the Father? When Jesus gives his disciples an example of how to pray in Matthew 6, 9 through 15 and Luke 11, 1 through 4. The first thing Jesus does is praise God the Father. Quote, our Father in heaven, everybody knows it, right? Hallowed be your name. Well, the word hallowed you all means holy be your name, Abba. Sacred be your name. Sanctified be your name. Consecrated be your name, Jehovah. Blessed be your name. Honored be your name. And divine, hallelujah, be your name, almighty God. When we pray or talk to Jehovah, the first thing we should do is give him honor, praise, and glory. We should glorify his holy name. Amen, somebody. Then we should end our prayer with your will be done father so praise him in the morning praise him in the noonday and praise him when the sun goes down praise your holy name almighty jehovah jireh our provider for delivering us from death hell and the grave hallelujah praise you almighty elohim for sending your your loving wonderful magnificent and glorious son our lord and savior jesus the christ so that we might be reconciled to you father hallelujah praise your holy name almighty king of kings and lord of lords for sending us your powerful wonderful comforter and helper thy Holy Spirit to be a light unto our path, hallelujah, to give us wisdom and understanding by whom we were sealed for the day of redemption as your own beloved sons and daughters. Did you hear that? That's a glory hallelujah moment. So, Praise your holy name, almighty Jehovah Rapha, our healer, who, who tells us, just tells us and gives us all he has because he loves us so much. So, Jehovah Rapha, our healer, God says to us to give him all our worries and cares, you all. When you can't seem to see your way through, because of the things people do to you. Or you just, you just can't seem to stop crying because of the loved ones you've lost. Jehovah says he will wipe away all your tears. Jehovah says, he did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. He says he will prepare a feast table for you in the presence of your enemies. He will anoint your head with oil, make your cup runneth over. He said he has prepared, hallelujah, a home for you in heaven where you can live with him forever and ever. God will give you rest, peace, and the joy of Christ because he loves you so very, very much. Glory, hallelujah. Give God some praise. Praise Jehovah's holy name for God is everything we need. And everything we need, God is. 
Praise the Lord. Shout glory, hallelujah. Give God some praise, you all. Go out and give him some praise. Listen, if you have, if you have fallen away from Christ, uh, for some reason you, you've fallen away, God wants you to come back, ask for forgiveness, repent. For those of us, for those of you who have not come to the Lord yet, Chatham Avalon is open for you. Not to the public per se, but if you want to get baptized, you want to get saved, we're open to you. We'll protect you. We'll put you in the water and let God add you to his body. So you must hear the words you've heard it today. Jesus Christ is the only begotten son of God and only through Christ can you be saved. He's the Messiah. You've heard you must have faith in God to please God. You must repent from your sins. You must do a 180, you all. You got to turn away from the world and the evil things of the world. You have to repent. You must confess to the public, not in a private room, not in your radio, with your radio in the room by yourself. You must confess to people, before people, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus said, if you confess me before me and I will confess you before my Father which is in heaven. Then all of that brings you to the door of baptism. And, and, and to get through that door, when you knock on that door, you want to go through that door, you get baptized. You get baptized, then God will add you to his body and he will give you the gift of the Holy Spirit. And you will have access to all these loving things we talked about. And you too will have praise for God because God will bless you mightily. So come, call us up, get in contact with us. If you want to get saved, we will make a way for you to get baptized. Day, night, anytime. So God bless you all. Praise God's holy name. In Jesus' name, do I come before you. And I just want to bow with you. Almighty Father, bless us and be with us always this day and every day of our lives. Father, help us to do thy bidding in all we say and do. To you be the glory and the praise and your honor. Father, we need your help. We need your love. A wonderful and magnificent God. May we lift you up in praise and honor in all we say and do. Father, help us to do your bidding. Father, you know the things we have need of even before we ask thee. We just want to say thank you. Let your will be done in our lives. In Jesus' name do we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you all.